Now in RTE 1, with so much choice, TK doesn't know which way to look, and someone's caught Libby's eye too, in short on street. As long as they stay out of the way, I will put up with this lame attempted PR. As the hours drag by, staff tempers fray, and patients continue to wait. Is she alright? No, she's not bloody alright. Um, get right. a trolley now and some oxygen. <laughs> Time to clear a space and recess. Even so, if this woman dies, will you feel responsible? If this woman dies, I will go home, drink a bottle of wine, and feel totally, 100% responsible. So I turn around and bang, the camera's right there in my face. I half expected him to follow me to the dunny. <laughs> Pretty intense, huh? Mm, makes you think twice about the old slight pick of the nose anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, you have to call Holly. At work. Oh, she just said she's floating around if you want to give her a bell. Cheers. Hey, much better looking company than what you're stuck with at the moment. It's a bit complicated. Hey, bro, the whole don't date your workmate thing's old news. You haven't got a girlfriend, right? Last time I rolled over in bed. So, she's single, she's a stunner, and she's keen. Ah, oh, bro, that's a tough decision. Wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Mm -hmm. One sugar or six? Hey, be grateful, you. So, I'll set this all off. Just happened. And it was totally accidental. You know that, eh? Oh, of course. I can hardly remember swallowing them. And I forgot that I'd already taken one. And one the night before. It was just a Zolopan pile-up. Not a suicide mission. But you are addicted to them. And often with addictions there's some sort of catalyst. There were a few pressures, I suppose. And the promotion. Me? I was a dog, we both know that. Ancient history. <gasps> Come on, blame me, give it your best shot. Sometimes I wonder what things would be like, you know, if we'd worked it out. But we didn't. No. And here I am, the shame of my family on the couch with a massive headache and a drug-dealing scientist for a boyfriend who skipped the country. Oh, no, you don't. What? I know that look. It's pity. And I can't stand it. I'd rather you thought I was crazy. I'm, I'm just so sorry, Tans. You know, this should never have happened. Your place should have sold by now. I know, but my agents in Rarotonga are being Margarita's poolside. Ring her now and tell her she's fired. Callum Mackay. Uh, Claire Solomon. Claire, nice to meet you. I have a 10.30 with Chris Warner. Yeah. Dr Mackay, is it? It is, if it helps me jump the queue. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay just PA. Thank you, Yvonne. <laughs> oh, there she is now. Libby. Such efficiency, ladies. We try. <laughs> well, it's rare to meet such good frontline staff. Usually it's, can I help you? Translated as, don't make me get up out of my seat, buddy. <laughs> what is it? Dr. Mackay, this is Libby. Libby Jeffries, I'd recognize those dulcet tones anywhere. How do you do? On the phone. We had scheduling nightmares, didn't we? Yes. Follow me. Lead and I shall follow. Thank you. It's running a little late, so just take a seat and relax. Well, I'd much rather take you down the calf play with coffee and keep you talking. I've already ordered a pot. Oh, I should have known. Who you said you're the most efficient PA she's ever come across? <laughs> you're just saying that. No, I'm not. I'm really sorry about who you're. How are you holding up? I'm getting there. I only met her for about an hour or so, but it didn't take me long to realise that she was special. So sharp, but warm with it. 
Did she mention that she offered me the job at all? No, she didn't. Oh. Well, it wasn't all signed and sealed. Howie was on her way to a DHB meeting when it all happened. They were going to discuss the primary care clinic. I don't know that much. Oh. Didn't ask you to whip up a contract for me. Maybe that was next on her to-do list. <laughs> Maybe I just got my wires crossed. Well, I hope not. You'll enjoy working here. Chris is great. Yeah. Well, his reputation certainly precedes him. I know it sounds cliche, but he really does care. It's not just a day at the office for him. He's been attached to Shorten Street for at least 10 years, maybe more. His father practically built the place himself. Well, he's lucky to have inherited such a gem for a PA. You are staying on. Of course. Good. You need to buy yourself a small makeup bag. Let me know when you're ready. I know just the shop. The film crew had finished and for the record, I did not wear makeup. Don't mind me. I'm just jealous that I won't be invading the nation's living rooms. I can't remember. Did I say congratulations on scoring a permanent contract? I don't believe you did. But thank you. And thanks for getting rid of Ingrid. You uh, did us all a favour there. Yeah, I did, didn't I? So if, if you feel like celebrating any time, just let me know when, where. All celebrating in all forms is on hold at least until I find somewhere to live. Are you sure about that? Positive. How's Angelina doing with all those kids? Oh, she's a legend. We tell her to shift over and share the limelight. Yeah. Dr. Potts called the shots is on her way. <laughs> Baxter told me the film crew were on your tail last night. I made a total tit of myself. Impossible. Why do you think I'm hiding out here? From work? No, from Craig. He'll want to know how it went. I think I'll save telling him that uh, his girlfriend lost her rag on national television. Well, hey, I'm sure they've got plenty of good stuff too. Yeah, I hope so. But you know the reality TV motto, never let the truth stand in the way of a good story. It's all about the drama. Oh, they came to the right place for that. <laughs> oh, deja vu. Who is Tungy? There I was, rambling on about all my stupid little problems without thinking about what you were going through. Hey, you can ramble to me anytime, you know that. I suppose we'll be seeing more of each other now that Craig's an adopted son of the Samuels Farnell. What does that make us? Cousins? Yeah. You know, smart, you've to everyone. <laughs> and another coffee? Uh, no, no, I'm fine, thanks. <clears throat> And who you offered you the job there and then? Well, yeah. Look, I'm sorry to have sprung this on you. I actually thought I was coming in to sign a contract. There's an interview process that must run its course. You know, there are other candidates to consider. <laughs> of course. So I'll, I'll just treat this as my first interview, shall I? OK. Uh, <laughs> let's move on. Can you give me an idea of your management philosophy? I think a clinic should be the sum total of the people that work there. It's not just a fix-it shop where you drive them in and drive it out. I think clinics should be uh, treated as, as communities because essentially that's what they are. It's about the people, I guess. Mm -hmm. Now, you feel this philosophy is reflected in your work record? Well, as you can see, I've already run several of my own practices, all of them very successful. Southside Clinic. Short tenure there. Ah, uh, yes. How not to run a business, I'm afraid, 101. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was aware of its closure. Mm. Southside had a lot of potential. Unfortunately, the problems I made the board aware of at a very early stage weren't thought problems enough, until its closure, of course. So a fault on the board's part? Oh, no, no, no. I was the head, so I take the blame. But if I'd followed my instinct and forced the board to take action earlier, then ultimately uh, I don't think we'd be talking about Southside's closure today. Oh, I appreciate your honesty. What you see is what you get. We'll be in touch. Thanks for your time. So? Contact Dr. Mackay's referees, put them straight through to me. Of course. And do you have a PA uh, network slash mafia? You bet. Mm, see what you can find out. I think you'll find it's all glowing. We'll see.